The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. Let's start with the books. Scale the cube to the size of a book. and apply the scale. In edit mode, inset the three faces that will become our pages. Then extrude these faces toward the center of the book. In object mode, add a bevel modifier to smooth out the edges. Apply the modifier, and then shade the book smooth. making sure to turn on Auto Smooth to correct any odd shading. Make two copies and place them on top of each other. Change their angles to make the icon more interesting. For the graduation cap, add a cube and scale it down along the Z axis. And apply the scale. In edit mode, subdivide the cube. Make sure you have the Loop Tools add-on activated. On the bottom of the cube, choose the center faces, and using the Loop Tools add-on, convert them into a circle. Extrude these faces down along the z-axis. Then scale the bottom faces along the x and y-axis. Select the center face on the top of the cube and subdivide it. Then using the Loop Tools add-on, convert the faces into a circle. Inset the circle and extrude it up along the Z-axis to form the button. Scale the top faces and add a loop cut in the center of the button. Bevel the loop cut, adding multiple edge loops and then scale them out along the X and Y axis.
In object mode, add a bevel modifier to smooth out the edges. Apply the modifier and then shade the cap smooth. For the tassel, add a bezier curve and move it on top of the cap. In edit mode, scale it to the size of the button and subdivide it a couple times. Select one half of the vertices and extrude them so they are just a bit longer than the top of the cap. Select the vertices you just extruded and the two closest vertices near the button and subdivide them a few times. Select the new vertices and scale them so the tassel gets thinner the further away it is from the button. Take the vertices on the very end and rotate them 90 degrees. Extruding them along the Z axis. Add a bevel to make the tassel round. In object mode, convert the curve to a mesh and shade it smooth. Back in edit mode, add a UV sphere. Scale the sphere down and attach it to the tassel. Select the bottom four rings of faces and extrude them along the z-axis. Then scale the bottom faces to zero along the Z axis and then scale them along the X and Y axis. Move the tassel into place. In object mode, join the tassel and cap. As an optional object, you can add a plane for a background. I'm using the palette from Infenzia for my material. The link is in the description. I'll use simple flat colors for this icon by scaling the faces to zero and placing them on the palette.
we need to set the origins for the objects before we begin the animation. Make sure the 3D cursor is at the world origin, then set each object's origin to the 3D cursor. Make sure you have your lighting and camera set up properly. Also make sure the frames per second is set to 30 and change the end frame to 120. This will give us a 4 second animation. On frame 120, select the objects and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. On frame 0, select the objects, scale them all to 0, and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. Hide everything except the bottom book. Copy the keyframes from frame 120 for the book onto frame 20. On frame 20, rotate the book 360 degrees around the z-axis and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. And copy the keyframes from frame 20 onto frame 119. Unhide the center book, copy the keyframes from frame 0 for the book onto frame 20. Copy the keyframes from 120 for the book onto frame 40. On frame 40, rotate the book 360 degrees around the z-axis and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. Copy the keyframes from frame 40 onto frame 119. Unhide the top book. Copy the keyframes from frame 0 for the book onto frame 40. Copy the keyframes from frame 120 for the book onto frame 60. On frame 60, rotate the book 360 degrees around the z-axis and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. Copy the keyframes from frame 60 onto frame 119. Unhide the cap, copy the keyframes from frame 0 for the cap onto frame 70. Copy the keyframes from frame 120 for the cap onto frame 90. On frame 90, scale the cap up. and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. Copy the keyframes from frame 120 onto frame 100, then scale the cap down, and add a key for location, rotation, and scale. Select all the keyframes, frames, 
and open the keyframe interpolation menu using the T key and change the interpolation to linear.